This video is titled 10 study tips for medical students but if you're not a medical student these tips will be helpful to you also. So welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're highly welcome my name is zara i am a final year medical student and a nigerian based content creator in today's video i'm going to be giving you 10 study tips to make your study lifestyle better i am my final year of medical school and i can say for a fact that i have experimented different study styles and different study techniques to make my study life better and this is me trying to give you my tips and my tricks <laughs> so we know what i do let's just roll right into the video the first tip on my list is to discover your study pattern what time of the day do you study best at night or in the morning what does your ideal study environment look like um noisy quiet organized not organized basically discover your study pattern i have discovered that i am mostly a night study person <laughs> okay i study best at night like i have maximum concentration at night because i'm not trying to get like a lot of things done but during the day i'm trying to get like a lot of things done. i'm like oh my god i forgot to do this i forgot to do that so it just my mind is very unclear and it's not the right time for me to study i can have like passive study during the day but when i'm like the most active it's at night or very early hours of the morning like 3 a.m 4 a.m but this girl right here is not a money person so i can't even experiment on that so i found out that over the years i study best at night when everybody's sleeping <laughs> i love it i prefer to burn the midnight candle than to turn on the sunlight i don't know what i just said <laughs> but moving on the next tip that's number two is have a study plan or a study schedule trust me you do not want to leave your study to chance or you know say okay it's tuesday or it's true i'm a student so i have to study you don't want to do that you want to create a plan for yourself i would not advise you to create to bulk plan because life can happen so allow for flexibility i will advise you to plan weekly because I found out that when I do like a month's plan of study, I eventually have to like move, start moving things to the next month because I wasn't able to finish. So make feasible, realistic study goals. Don't say, okay, I want to read five things today. Maybe during exam, that can happen because like there's this surge of energy and there's this drive. Well, not for me, Sha, to complete like five things in a day, ten things in a day. You can do that during exam, but like when it's just a normal time like of the um of your student calendar i would advise you take your study like very intentional and at your own pace so have a plan have a schedule and my advice is for you to make it a weekly study schedule so this week i want to finish 10 things 10 topics and i i balance them out i do very bulky ones and not so bulky ones very bulky ones and not so bulky ones if you try to finish bulky um lecture materials or lecture slide in a week a lot of them uh, i don't know but it's just like a lot of information coming in at once so i try to balance it out so have a study plan, have a study calendar, have a study schedule, whatever it is you want to call it, but plan your study. This also keeps you accountable to know what you have read and what you have not read. But if you just read at random, you don't really keep tabs of what you've read or what you, or what you have not read. You end up reading something you've read over and over again. Why there are lots of other lecture slides and other materials that you've not even touched at all so plan your study my number three tip is to romanticize your study i know it sounds i don't know <laughs> but romanticize your study when it's time to study like really desire to study like okay today i want to um read I don't know wound healing or wound and wound healing so i'm like okay what do i want to learn about wound healing what i do personally to romanticize my study is i scan through the materials and get the subtopics for example you're talking about acute 
I'm using wound healing as, a, as an example. How um, management of an acute wound, management of a chronic wound, um, types of wound, definition of wound, um, steps to, I don't know, something. I just scanned through the entire material or textbook. I like to use a lot so or textbook i scan through them like okay so these are the things that i'm going to be reading in this book i have knowledge of what i'm expecting in the next page i'm not just taking by surprise i'm like okay i really want to know the um is it four now or five classic or types of i think there are four clean clean this is not this is not a video about wound healing i am anticipating the next subtopic and i romanticize studying okay i want to study today and this is what i want to study and at the end of the day i should be able to get like know something about this thing that i'm studying so i romanticize my study and whatever is going to make that happen for me i do it so i listen to lo-fi lo-fi has this way of getting you in the mood to study i don't know how to explain it if you're if you don't like using music to study then I don't know how to explain this but using lo-fi music this very soft beat and i usually listen to lo-fi girl um luckily it's a, it's also on apple music usually i used to use youtube but i never actually sat for it on like your regular music app but trust me it's on your regular music app so if you just download it like a playlist of it and just listen to it it just soothes you and just gets you in that i don't know how to explain it but this is that is what does it for me so romanticize your study when you romanticize your study you will want to actively participate in that you would want to enjoy what you're studying you want to enjoy what you're reading so that's my number three point romanticize your study number four is to use active studying method or technique i have a video on my channel i should do an updated video by the way of active study methods you can use to study so there is use of anki um, active recall um what else is there it's a lot actually so i may or i should do i should do an updated video on active study techniques so if you want to see that video subscribe to this channel number one hit that notification bell so you get notified when that video comes out and give this video a like and i would definitely 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 do an updated video on how to actively study or use active study technique my number five tip to use multiple resources a lot of people like reading one straight line i mean this is our lecture material right this is what i need to read to pass my exam right and that's all they do but personally i am a textbook girl the truth is that i even prefer textbooks to like lecture slides but because I have to pass my exams, I have to read lecture slides. And because I love textbooks, I can tell you where some lecture slides or lecture notes that I am given or that I read is from. Because I use multiple resources, I'm telling you. Like I can go online and just download one random, highly rated textbook for a particular course and i just read it like just can't read like it's so interesting to read textbooks like if you don't get it i'm sorry you don't get it but yeah i'm a textbook girl but so i use multiple resources i use videos i use textbooks i use my lecture materials i use anki um that's um flashcards i use what else do i use i use multiple resources i use google i use medscape i use apps i also use the wikimed app so i use multiple resources and whenever i see something like um a word i've never heard before i search for the meaning because i'm like okay so this is what this is trying to say it gives you so much clarity on the subject matter so my advice is to use multiple resources if you're not a multiple resources person i would say try increasing your study resource to like maybe adding one more extra thing if you're a medical student i'll say that medscape or wikimed is a good addition to like your study um resources right if you're not a medical student then i'll say use google google is your friend but look at the sites that you're getting information from so you don't get virus i mean you don't get the wrong information that's what i mean by virus number six for me is to take breaks oh my god please please and please take breaks i can study for four hours six hours but i take breaks within this time 
i can take break and press my phone that's not advisable you know <laughs> but if that's what you want to do then fine you have to be very mature about pressing your phone because if not you press your phone for the entire study hour hours or the entire time you want to study so i take healthy breaks like 30 minutes break if you're studying for a long time it helps you it helps your brain like reboot <laughs> And you're not getting so much information at once. You're not flooding your head with like so much information at once. So take break. It is healthy. And one way to ensure that you take breaks while you study is to use the Pomodoro timer. To use the Pomodoro style of studying. So depending on how long um, you want to study. If you want to study for 15 minutes and take break of 10 minutes. If you want to study for 25 minutes and take breaks of 5 minutes. Whatever you want to do. But take breaks. You can take a food break. You can take a lunch break. Whatever it is you're taking break, but just take breaks. If you're studying for one hour, you might not necessarily need to take a break because it's one hour and the time by the time you're like really paying attention to what you're studying, like 20 minutes might have disappeared and you just have 40 minutes of like real active study. So yeah, but if you're studying for a long period of time, take break. It is healthy, it is needed, it is necessary. The next tip is get enough sleep get enough sleep if you're sleep deprived and you want to read for hours you will break down you will break down especially doing exams where you have so much to finish that's why i always advise that you should start studying like way 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 way, way before is like your is exam season because when exam season comes Personally, I don't do well during exam season. I have mental breakdown. I cry a lot because it's just a lot. But lucky for me, what actually really helps me during exam season is because I had, you know, put in the work prior to exam season. So it's just like mostly revision, but still it still feels overwhelming. What I'm trying to say is get enough sleep. You cannot eat your cake and have it. <laughs> trust me. You can't ask this body to serve you serve you you know work here go there do this do that and you're not rewarding your body by sleeping and eating well so you can't do that your it's going to catch up with you one one way or another you're going to you're going to feel it <laughs> my next tip is study groups study groups can be so helpful study groups helps you solidify what you already know one of the best ways to learn is to employ your senses when you're studying so your eyes your ears your mouth if you can smell it <laughs> smell it if you can smell it yeah if you can feel it also feel it but yeah employ your senses your eyes your ears and your mouth talking is not really a sense remember let's just add it there. so yeah when you study you see when you attend lectures you hear when you attend study groups you hear when you watch youtube videos you hear when you read your textbooks you see now when you go for group discussions if it's your turn to discuss you talk when you answer questions in class you talk when you answer questions during your rotation clinical rotations for medical student now you talk so when you use all your senses to learn it sticks better study groups is the answer because when you have discussion days or when you have discussion on a particular topic in your study group and for example you're the discussant <laughs> is there anybody like that you're sure the person that is talking <laughs> um you have to read it first right you have to watch videos if you don't really understand the subject matter because now you have to come and discuss it you have to anchor this discussion and you talk about it best believe that you would not forget that subject matter in a hurry if you do it well like if you don't treat it with like disdain oh i'm just it's not my group member it's not my study group. I, I mean if you don't treat it with disdain you would not forget that subject matter in a hurry so yes study groups are very helpful study groups helps to solidify the information you already have it helps to clear any doubts that you already have you know you can be reading on your own and you're not really understanding but when you go for like so you're like oh is that what they meant oh wow wow so yes study groups are very helpful if you're not someone who likes study group or who likes to study with people that's fine 
Number nine is to limit distractions while you study. As I said, my study pattern, I like to study at night because at night I have less distractions. I have less things I want to accomplish. I am not, I don't have to go anywhere. Oh, I forgot to go to the market. I can't go to the market by 10 p.m. <laughs> I forgot to clean the toilet. Why am I cleaning the toilet by 10 p.m.? I forgot to cook. Why am I cooking by 10 p.m.? Do you understand what I mean? For me, nine times are best because my distractions are limited. I try to accomplish everything I need to do during the day, during the day, so that at night I know that I am supposed to be studying. So when I am rigmaroling during the day, doing getting stuff done during the day, I don't really bother if I have not studied all through the day because I know that when my hour comes my hour comes so and sometimes when i have to study during the day and i just start remembering things oh you've not done this oh you've not done that i write them down i have a sticky note beside me whenever i'm studying i'm like okay after studying wash plates clean toilet go to market do this i write them down so that when i'm done i do those things that i said i was supposed to do here's the thing eh? when you are done studying those things that you uh, remember oh i have not done this i've not done that you might actually not do it do you understand but at that point you just remember that oh you're supposed to do something this is one of the reasons why you should romanticize your study so you're not easily distracted when you romanticize your study and you really want to know something like your attention is there like a hundred percent so yeah limit distraction and the last but not the least is to ask for help you're not an island no man is an island whatever you think you know someone knows it better whatever you don't know someone knows it so ask for help if you need help shout even if people think that you're the smartest human being in the world asking for help doesn't make you less than what you are it makes you even a bigger person it makes you better because now you know what you didn't know before when you ask for help and asking for help doesn't make you look stupid it makes you wise actually because you're adding to your bank of knowledge so yeah before i used to be very skeptical about asking for help i have to tell you guys the truth i don't ask questions during rotation because i don't want anybody to notice me why are you noticing me if you notice me now you're not asking me a lot of questions but <laughs> during my neurosurgery posting my s2 postings i, th I was asking questions and this thing that was i was afraid of happened to me but now the good thing is that this made me better because now somehow i was seen i wasn't just in the shadow like how they would treat medical students sometimes i was seen i got the opportunity to go into the icu when some of my group members were not allowed into the icu i was when i was in the icu i was shown a lot of you know machines i was using the icu and their functions i'm sorry but my other group members didn't have that luxury it's luxury to me knowledge <coughs> knowledge for me this girl right here is luxury to me i'm telling you so i had that opportunity so what i was scared of was actually beneficial to me and sometimes they would ask questions i'd be like i don't know it i'm yet to learn like you can't really do anything to me i'll ask questions and now i'm in my final lap the only thing i can do to help myself and to help my destiny is to ask questions if i'm unsure of something i can't just keep quiet about it and be like i will go and read it it's a lie it's a lie you're not going to read it so ask for help i keep i kept this as the last point just to really emphasize on how asking for help or asking questions can go a long way so if you're unsure of something you google it you're not still satisfied with the answer you're finding on google because they're speaking a lot of grammar ask for help you can try to start scaling up maybe from your classmates some people don't know the answer you go to your senior some people don't know the answer you take it to doctors you have tried your best if they don't know the answer then you save it as your research topic so yeah guys these are my study tips to help you make your study lifestyle better or your study um habits better i hope this video was helpful to someone out there if it was and you like to see more videos like this on my channel feel free to you know just click it that's it i don't is it here or here i, I don't know where it is now but that red thing that shine in your eye that please rest subscribe just help me click it more like you can try to punch it but i don't want you to break your device so just click it yeah thank you very much and also click down the notification. you see that bell that just popped up click it 
so you get notified when I have videos on my channel because trust me I give the tea <laughs> why did I just say that and also give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments below if you have any questions if you have any study tips that you have used in the past and you feel like it will be beneficial to someone watching this video leave it in the comments and then I'll see you guys in my next one I love you guys as always keep being amazing bye